Hi y'all. Y'all are very low at the moment, but that's literally the only spot I have that I can put you guys. That makes sense. Unless we're gonna... Let's see. Hopefully I don't touch anything and nothing falls. But um, I just got home and I stopped by the Dollar Tree. Mr. and I love those. I bought these gloves to bring by my lady tomorrow. They're in my room because today I was scrambling. I bought this because we love peppermint in this household. At the other grocery store, I think it's four ninety nine. But this one, it's two ninety nine. Why did I only buy one? I don't even know. I bought Downy Unstoppables because I had decided that either today or tomorrow evening I was going to do laundry. Obviously, today didn't make the cut. So it's going to have to be today, um, tomorrow evening or a different afternoon. So um, I went to V2 and I bought these dirty containers to put like rice, flour, sugar, and um, maybe cornmeal. But I literally just bought three for rice, flour, and sugar. So let's put the rice in here. I was in the store googling. <laughs> well, it's five pounds, so we could definitely hold. I thought I had a 10 pound bag of rice. So I was googling how much 10 pound, how many ounces 10 pound would be. Oh shit. I forgot that a little measuring cup was inside there. Definitely need access to that. Okay. So this looks like it could comfortably hold six pounds. And I just trash night, so that's good. We take some of this trash out, so that's our rice. Because at this point, this looks like the sugar is going to take up the whole thing. Actually is. We'll put the rest of the sugar in a Ziploc bag because I'm throwing out this container. And then we're gonna get the flour. I have whole wheat flour, unbleached flour because we already eaten this stuff. The least we can do is get the healthier versions of all of these things. Unbleached. This is full of white to me. So this is just unbleached. This is not whole wheat. So one of the containers hold like five or six pounds because that's like a five pound bag of flour and when you shimmy it down maybe it'll hold another pound which is pretty good five pounds at a time is not bad mister is going to be so surprised when he comes and sees them because yesterday we were literally in this store looking at them so we have um rice we have flour we have sugar and we're going to just pile them onto here. Whatever else we have will be thrown out because what am I really going to put in these containers? Nothing at all. And I've just had them sitting there for an extended period. And they're not the best quality. But with me, when I buy something, I'm replacing something. I'm not holding on to nothing. And I literally hate plastic containers, so I know that I'm contradicting myself, but these are dressier versions of plastic containers. I also saw some glass cylinder looking ones there too, but one, I was walking with the bag for like eight minutes and I was not trying to bring those, and I really liked these more. The sugar looks so good in there. Oh, everything looks so good. I'm gonna shower and find something to eat. I have meal prep in there, but meal prep is meal prep. I'm gonna find something else to eat so that the meal prep can stay. And then that really is all for today. I'm gonna just relax after this. I thought I would have wanted to go to the gym, but the way how I'm feeling right now, I don't think I can manage that tonight. To be completely honest, you have to listen to your body. So I'm not even gonna mention it. So I'll leave that for another day. Because so once I mention it, Mims is gonna wanna hold me accountable. You guys, you know that type of time right now. 
so some other time. I feel so accomplished that I was able to get everything that I needed to do done. Now we can relax. We're making some Jamaican stew chicken. So I have my chicken seasoned here, cut up small and seasoned. I have some minced garlic in there. I have my onion. Then I have my carrots right here and um, my bell pepper. And we have the sugar back there because we're gonna be using sugar to brown it. And you put a generous amount of brown sugar in the pot. I think you can use granulated sugar too. Yeah, you absolutely can. I've used it before. And then you allow it to start I don't know what you call that, like browning or bubbling like that. When it comes to the surface, then you put your chicken in. When it gets black and comes to the surface, then you put your chicken in. You can also use browning on the chicken. This is how my mom used to do it. Yes, there are moments when I use browning, but I love doing it like this. You get a nice golden brown. This is essentially how you want it to look. And the whole thing is going to look like that in a few seconds or so. But yes, you see how it's golden brown. That's exactly how the chicken is going to turn out. If it's not as brown as you want it, you can add browning still, but this is the route I take. Hi y'all, today is Monday. Mr. Wolfbeupin said, we're gonna go get breakfast. So get up and get dressed, which I did right now, it's 847. And this is about 30 minutes ago. So, finally got dressed and I'm outside, it's so cold. I feel very tired. Maybe it's because I literally just woke up. I mean, I feel very rested, but I just feel like I could lay down in the warm bed for a little bit more, but I will never pass up a breakfast date, so. Here we are in this um, sweatshirt that he got me for Christmas and some Aeropostale pants. And I have another little jacket here with me if it gets too cold or I can put on. <coughs> but I also take the initiative to, there are moments where we drop off the laundry and there are moments where we wash it. I took the initiative to bring the bag with me just in case he wanted to go wash it. Now that I'm out here, I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel like going to wash it anymore, so I'm gonna convince him to just drop it off because I really do not feel like going there and doing it myself anymore. We went to church yesterday and it was a beautiful, beautiful service. We went to a non-denominational church and, um, you know, it was great. The service was an hour and like 45 minutes tops. You didn't feel judged. You felt like an open space for you to go and worship and go home. And I loved it. And I feel like I would definitely go again. I went to the church yesterday. It had been a long time since I had not gone to church. So I loved it. Now I'll definitely be going back to that one specifically. So it's a little bit later. We had breakfast and Mr. had to come to an appointment that he decided all on his own to take me with him too. And I did not agree to this. I said, don't I have a choice? And he's like, no. So I'm here in, what is this, for still? Got an appointment. Just sitting outside in the car waiting because I don't want to go inside. But uh, I'm just sitting outside waiting in the car. My battery's dying. Kind of bored. I want to go home and sleep. I'm glad that I'm off today and tomorrow. I'm also off Thursday. I don't think I had mentioned that yet. But um, this is great. Good lot of days off. Yeah. I asked him if we could go to Ikea to go buy the um, storage system that I want. And he didn't answer. So I'm going to have to ask him again when he comes back. See where he's at with that. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.